Okay, this is 11-3. I can't see it. Oh, thank you for reminding me. All right, 11-3. So, um, and I'm, I've got a, only about five minutes to go through this with you guys, and I'll do a help video probably tonight. And we've done volume before, and um, before I've told you guys that sometimes when you have a prism that's two different shapes, you're going to have to divide them and then add them together. So I just want you to look at this one here. Here's one way you could do it. You could just kind of divide it there. So this would be one answer. And this would, sh there shouldn't be any talking. And this would be the other. And you would add those together. Another way you could do it is if you just extended this line. All right. And so this one, it would be 12 by 9 by 4. And this one would be 9 by 7 by 6. And then you would add those two together. Now, yeah, somebody asked me about that. You know, what about, you know, what about the 5 there? Well, you wouldn't end up using it. And you also wouldn't end up using the 10. It just depends on which shapes you decide to use. So, and you're going to have lots of problems like that. All right? So, this question here, so look at this, this drawing that I made here. This pertains to that um, the homework video last night, one of the ways I explained it, and um, it was sort of the last question on that little quiz you just took. Because in one container, they gave you length times width times height. And in another one, they gave you the area times the height. And so look at this figure here that I drew. Say it's a glass container, and all the sides have a light green, it's a light green, green um, glass. At the bottom they have sand, just a little thin layer of sand. And if it's in inches, you would just add up seven times the area, which they gave you. The area, the base, is 30 inches squared. So then it would be simply 30 times 7. That was how you would have figured out container 2, the area times the height, which would be 210. And this is important. You wouldn't leave it squared. They're asking volume. And so then it would be cubed. All right. Um, back to the work I want you guys to do. So on the guided practice in 11.3, I want you to do number one, and you can see that I've highlighted it here. And um, I highlighted in green A, which is right here. And then in pink, or maybe it looks purple to you guys up there, I did prism B. And then you would just add those two together. I want you to do three and four. Find the volume of each solid figure. Now, look, everybody, eyes up here for a second. There's two ways you can do three, and there's also a couple ways you could do four. Watch, let me show you. And if your math is correct, either one could be right. But look, this is one way. You could extend that. So this could be one prism right here, OK? Or you could just extend this right here. And then you would figure out that one. So either way, it's up to you. For number four, probably the easiest way would be just to go with that figure and then go with the top figure and add them together. It's up to you. Okay. Uh, five, six, and seven. Mark those. I want you to do those. Okay. 
Then um, next page, I want you to do eight, nine, ten. Now look at eight here. Eight says it asks you the question: How would you find the volume of the figure shown? Okay. They're not asking for the answer. They want to know how you would find it. Well, um, here's what one thing you could put. I mean, you could write this. You could just copy down what I'm putting here. I would add the volume of two figures. And so, for example, maybe somebody would just extend this line here. So this would be one figure. Okay. And this long piece would be the second one. You could call this one B. This one could be A. However you want to do that. Number nine, it says, uh, write two expressions that can be added to find the volume of the solid figure. Two expressions. So um, you could write A. Um, well, no, let's not do that. How about um, length times width times height? There's two figures plus length times width times height and then it says an expression so I'm not going to have an equal sign in that you're adding two separate prisms okay and then finally it says what is the volume of the solid figure so finally you just need to answer it you're going to add up a and b or however you uh, divide them, whatever you want to call them. Number 11 here, this is this one I want you to think about, do it on your own. It's going to be worth 100 group points tomorrow. I'm going to pull sticks. We'll see who can get it. I want you to do 12. I want you to do 13. Eleven four. Man, we're about out of time here. Um, Eleven four. Here's uh, another example. It's, it's a continuation of what you've learned yesterday and, and what we've talked about. And, and they're just putting it in word problems. I'm not worried about the convince me. You can put a line through that. The guided practice, these are, these are just figures and word problems. Now, look at this one for a moment. Number one, somebody asked me about this. How can you find the volume of the China cabinet? Okay, well, length times width times height. And number two, somebody asked me about that. Number two says, what is the height of the top section of the china cabinet? Well, look, what's the top section? It's right here. This is the top section. Okay. Um, so, if from here to here is 7, what would it be from here to here? Well, if this is 3, this is also 3. 3 from 7, it's going to be 4, this distance right here. So, I want you to do 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8, and looks like um, 10 and 11. Yes, sir. All right.